This is Chris Collins with Acoustica, and I'm going to show you some of the new plugins included with Mixcraft Pro Studio 6. These plugins are not included with the standard version of Mixcraft, only with Pro Studio. One of the effects that I am most excited about is the Acoustica Pro Studio Reverb. Listen to the difference between the classic reverb and the Acoustica Pro Studio Reverb. I'll play a drum lick using the classic reverb first. Now let's hear that same lick using the Acoustica Pro Studio Reverb instead. The acoustic space that is represented by the Pro Studio Reverb just sounds much more authentic. I might as well take this opportunity to also show you Pianissimo. This is a grand piano virtual instrument that is bundled with Mixcraft Pro Studio 6 and is based on the sounds of a Steinway Model D grand piano. I will now play a selection of the Turkish March using the classic reverb. Now let's hear that with the Acoustica Pro Studio reverb instead. While we're looking at virtual instruments, I have to show you the ME80. This synth recreates the Yamaha CS80, and it even emulates the polyphonic aftertouch and the um, pitch ribbon and a bunch of other things. You have to hear this thing. Oh, this synth sounds so sweet. That's just one, one of the patches, but you have to check out all the others in there and play around with it. Pro Studio 6 also comes with Memory Moon, which is uh, basically a Memory Moog emulator. Um, and one of the coolest features of the Memory Moon is the Arpeggiator, which is super flexible and can do some really neat stuff. Here I'm just holding down these chords and letting the Arpeggiator do its thing. Now I want to show you some of the effects. Oh, where to start? There are so many new plugins here. The Acoustica 31 Band EQ. This is great. It offers you such fine control over the sound. Um, here in this uh, little uh, loop that I've got going, um, I can boost this bass drum, the bass drum frequencies here, without really grabbing the bass instrument so much along with it. It's, it's nice. I feel like I'm a surgeon. Let's boost these highs a little bit. Yeah. You can find just that right frequency in there. Get those hi-hats nice and crisp. Next we have the Isotope Mastering Essentials. Now there are three parts to this plugin. A valve equalizer, room simulation, and a tube amplifier. Each can be enabled or disabled independently of the other. control of the parametric equalizer is pretty common to most parametric equalizers. You drag the points with your left mouse button, you use the scroll wheel to change the width. The room simulation is very interesting. It does a very good job of simulating that particular type of room environment that most reverbs don't do well. And the tube amplifier gives you that analog color for your final mixes. 